Hi, I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography based here in beautiful, sunny Naples, Florida. Today we take a look at the second installment in the high-end Pro Series line of lenses for the Micro Four Thirds system, courtesy of Olympus. If you saw my first Pro Series lens review from Olympus with the 12-40mm f2.8, then you know that I raved about that lens and to date it remains the highest rated lens that I've ever personally used or tested. Well today, it's Olympus's new 40 to 150 mm f2.8 Pro Series lenses turn. And like the 12 to 40 mm before it, it's a serious zoom lens that puts professional DSLR diehards on notice as we scored this thing a 48 out of 50 and it earned our coveted Editor's Choice Award. Now, if you want to know how we arrived at that conclusion, well, stick around and find out. Olympus announced the 40 to 150 mm f2.8 Pro Series lens at the same time they announced their 1.4x teleconverter in September of 2014. Like the 12 to 40 mm f2.8 Pro Series lens before it, it's pretty clear that Olympus has made a strategic decision to go after high end professionals and wean them off the bulk and weight of their full frame DSLR system cameras. The 40 to 150 mm focal range covers a very useful full frame equivalent field of view of 80 to 300 mm, combined with a fast, constant f2.8 aperture, which has portrait, wedding, sport, and even birding photographers clearly in Olympus's sights. But is there enough here to draw even more pros away from their beloved DSLR cameras? Okay, so first up is build quality. And right out of the gate, Unlike the majority of Micro Four Thirds lenses currently available in the marketplace, this one looks and feels like a really serious piece of kit. It definitely doesn't have that toy-like appearance that may make your clients question whether you're an actual professional photographer when you show up to your job with this thing. Quite the contrary, this one is likely to cause a serious case of lens envy. Now, don't get me wrong, when covering a similar field of view on a full-frame DSLR equivalent lens, you get something like this. This is a Sigma 120 to 300, which comes in at a whopping seven pounds, it's also f2.8, versus the 40 to 150, which comes in at just under two pounds, which is more than three times less weighty. And to me, that's pretty shocking when you consider the focal length and aperture combination contained within the 40 to 150. It's also impressively built, as it's made mostly out of metal. Even the lens hood and the lens cap are made out of very substantial plastics. This thing, the cap in particular, could really double as a hockey puck in a game of air hockey. Seriously, it's, it's a really nice and very high grade of plastic. The lens hood is also pretty slick as once it's attached, it can extend and retract or extend and retract without ever having to come off the lens. Not only is that a really cool touch, it's also superbly executed. Now the zoom ring is to my hand impeccably dampened. I mean, it's just velvety smooth. It's sublime even with, to my hand, the optimal level of resistance. The focus ring is just as well dampened and it too is just creamy smooth to use. It's awesome. Like the 12 to 40 before it, the Olympus utilizes this very well executed clutch mechanism that because of the lens is a fly by wire lens, the clutch allows you to pre-focus a shot, which can be very useful in video as you can snap quickly between two points in a scene. To cap it off, like the other Pro Series lenses that either have been announced or have debuted, the 40 to 150 is also weather sealed, which in this price range, well, that's basically expected. On the inside, there are 16 elements in 10 groups, and that optical formula includes one Super ED lens, three ED lenses, one EDA lens, one HD lens, and two spherical lenses. Phew, that sounds impressive. The aperture ranges from f2.8 to f22 throughout the entire zoom range. There are also nine rounded aperture blades for some very creamy smooth bokeh rendering. And lastly, the filter thread is a biggish for Micro Four Thirds at 72 millimeters in diameter. So to sum up the build quality, it's built like a tank, but relatively lightweight compared to other lenses in this, in this category, specifically on DSLR system cameras. The focus and zoom rings are just sublime, and even the lens hood and lens cap are built on a higher level than virtually any other hood and cap that I've used on any system, and not to mention the really slick design of the hood itself. Oh, and it's weather sealed. All in, it's a very innovative and tough package that has pushed the very definition of build quality and is easily a 10 out of 10. <laughs> So next up is autofocus speed and accuracy. Olympus has outfitted the 40-150 to with a brand new AF system never before seen in all of Camerdom. 
It's called the Dual Voice Coil Motor or Dual VCM Focusing System, which, according to Olympus, is, quote, an evolution of Olympus' original fast and quiet movie and still compatible mechanism. The Dual VCM Focusing System is the world's first to use two linear motors to perform focusing with a floating method. The new design has made fast autofocusing with no loss of image quality possible by operating two groups of miniaturized focusing lenses simultaneously, quickly, and with great precision. For a telephoto zoom lens, you can still experience focusing speed on par with that of the Olympus 12-40mm f2.8 Pro." Unquote. Whoa, that's a mouthful. But my experience has led me to believe that that's a pretty accurate description. One of the side benefits of the new dual action VCM AF system is the ability to use the lens for relatively close focus, meaning there's, and I can't believe I'm actually going to say this, but there's actually some value in this lens as a macro lens. Seriously, as the minimum focus distance is only 70 centimeters, which is just about two feet, three inches away from the camera. But remember, you can zoom, so a 300 millimeter equivalent to only be two feet, three and a half inches away from your subject and you can still focus, that's pretty darn close to macro and downright impressive for a lens with this kind of focal length. And those things are really nice. But that said, how fast and accurate does the lens focus? Well, let's test it out. We set it to infinity, and here it goes. I'm gonna focus on something really close. And the beep is on, hear that? It's pretty fast. And now we're gonna focus on something far away. Bam, that's pretty fast too. Now, based on our experience here, it's also incredibly accurate, though it's not perfect, but I'm hitting accurate focus about 95% of the time in real world shooting, which in my experience is very, very high. Okay, so now it's disclaimer time. For my kind of shooting, which is primarily portraits and weddings, that is relatively still and frankly slow moving subjects, then I wouldn't hesitate for a nanosecond to pick up this lens and make the switch from my DSLR to micro four thirds for my professional work. For me, it would be a really seamless transition. However, if I were a professional sports shooter, then I'm still not so sure, as one of the downsides of the Micro Four Thirds system has historically been its difficulty with focus tracking and fast moving subjects. So please take this next point with a bit of a grain of salt, as again, I don't shoot a lot of sports, but I needed to get some kind of benchmark of the lens's sport shooting, that is, you know, tracking capability. So what I did was, I set up the camera with me on one side of my yard, and had my son run at me full speed from the other end with the 40-150 to 150 and the EM-1. And in my anecdotal test, so long as I was using low speed sequential shooting, then my focus results were pretty strong, like maybe out of 8 out of 10 shots were in focus. However, when I switched to high speed shooting and continuous tracking, it was a bit of a train wreck, like maybe 3 or 4 shots out of 10 were in focus. Now I'm inclined to blame that more on the EM-1 than I am the lens, but again, take that test with a grain of salt. So as I mentioned before, for still subjects like portraits and birds sitting on a branch, then the 40 to 150 is spot on and deadly accurate and an absolute gem to use. But if Olympus is targeting professionals who shoot sports, then based on my, again, my anecdotal experience with my son running through the yard, continuous AF tracking is fine so long as you can live with low speed continuous at 6.5 frames per second. But most of the pro sports DSLR cameras out there, think 1DX and D4, shoot at 10 frames per second or more, so the Oli isn't quite up to snuff with the DSLR competition out there yet. I say yet because Micro Four Thirds and tracking keep getting better with each successive camera generation. So portrait and bird photographers with this lens, well, you're pretty well covered and can make the switch to Micro Four Thirds with this lens, again, pretty seamlessly, so long as the bird is sitting on a branch and not flying towards you. And truthfully, to a slightly lesser extent, wedding photographers would value a lens like this as well, because brides and grooms typically aren't running towards you like a middle linebacker. So for AF speed and accuracy, the 40 to 150 gets a very solid nine out of 10. <laughs> Thank you.
So next up is optical quality and the quality of the results. We're actually shooting this portion of the review with the 40 to 150 millimeter. And this is the one area where I can honestly say the 40 to 150 excels. Like the 12 to 40 millimeter before it, this thing is a marvel of engineering, especially given its relatively meager size and weight given the focal length and aperture combination contained within this lens. Now, unlike shorter focal length lenses, longer lenses give you a narrower depth of field rendering the out-of-focus backgrounds, or the bokeh, into a blurry smooth mess of color and shape, giving you great subject isolation, which is absolutely terrific for portraits. Equally as impressive is the optical quality, as the images are sharp as shattered glass. Seriously, they're amazing. Now, if you shoot portraits, or if you shoot wildlife and or birds, then you're going to be amazed by the optical quality of the 40 to 150 millimeter from Olympus. Sports shooters, as mentioned previously, well, that's a slightly different matter. But, as with all my reviews, rather than me talking up the optical quality, it's probably better if I just demonstrate the optical quality. The next two or three minutes will be a series of stills and video clips taken with the Olympus 40 to 150 millimeter f2.8 Pro Series lens, and in my opinion, they are simply dazzling. So last up and arguably most important is value. The Olympus 40 to 150 mm f2.8 lens is nothing short of a breakthrough lens for the Micro Four Thirds system, offering stellar build, fast and mostly accurate focus, stunning optical quality, weather sealing, a constant f2.8 aperture throughout the focal range, and an ideal focal range for a wide variety of applications, notably portraiture. But a lens like this has to come at a price, and for the Micro Four Thirds system, any lens that costs $1,499 is by no means a budget lens. Far from it. In fact, it's downright expensive. But when you consider that Olympus is targeting professional DSLR diehards and trying to woo them away from legacy camera systems from the likes of, say, Canon and Nikon, then a lens like this is not only less expensive than its direct DSLR competition, it's arguably optically superior, weighs significantly less, and has a much smaller profile and it costs up to 50% less than similar lenses offered to DSLR shooters, notably the Sigma 120-300 f2.8s lens, as we mentioned previously. Now, the only real downside of any significance to the 40-150 is the relatively slow 6.5 frames per second when focused tracking for fast-moving subjects. But that's probably more of a shortcoming of the Micro Four Thirds system cameras than it is for this lens. My feeling is, eventually, someone in the Micro Four Thirds world will figure out the focus tracking situation to make Micro Four Thirds more high-end and DSLR-like. And when that does happen, one of the few remaining advantages of full-size DSLR camera systems will ultimately fall by the wayside. So for value, the 40 to 150 gets a very solid 9 out of 10. <laughs> Of 
Okay, so to wrap up this review, we gave the Olympus 40 to 150 millimeter f2.8 Pro Series lens a 48 out of 50 in our coveted Editor's Choice Award. The final word. If you're a DSLR shooter who has considered making the move to Micro Four Thirds, then the Olympus 40 to 150 f2.8 is just another arrow in Olympus's quiver of amazing lenses, offering solid build, great optics, fast and mostly accurate autofocus, especially with still subjects, weather sealing, and a very useful focal range for a variety of photographic applications. It's pretty clear that the Olympus 40 to 150 f2.8 is just another must-have lens for the Micro Four Thirds system. Focus tracking in its current state, however, is just okay. But that said, if you're a sports shooter, there's good news. Because as we were just getting ready to wrap up this review, Olympus announced firmware version 3.0 for the EM1, which promises faster and more accurate focus for sports shooters with focus tracking. That piece of news, if it in fact works out okay, could close the deal for sports shooters too. We can't wait to test it out. This is Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography based here in beautiful, sunny Naples, Florida. If you like these reviews, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next time, happy shooting.